So, I finally got part four done. I know it's been a long time since I did a blind, blind solve video. Um, and I'm sure you're very confused since the last part. At this point, you should only be able to or orient corners without looking. Told you how to memorize that. The last video, I covered some of how to place corners. But, um, in this one, I'll explain some of the problems that we're into. There's actually only one problem. So, it, uh, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Um, second hardest, no, so second easiest step. So, here we go. Got your corners oriented. You should be looking at your cube at this point. Um, now what we do is we look at this corner here. And this is the corner that belongs, it already belongs in this place, but this is the buffer zone. This is where you're putting the pieces. You want to take this corner, put it in its place. But since this one is already solved, you send it to another corner that isn't solved yet. It cannot be solved yet. Say I have this front corner already solved. I can't send this to the front corner, because then the front corner will move over here, using the corner switching algorithm and I'll go to put it back and I would have accomplished nothing. I usually like to send this to this front position up here um, simple enough because you don't have to twist any sides. Remember when you put a corner in place you must turn the front and left side twice downside as many times as you want. You cannot turn the other sides because this is the undisturbed zone in here. Think of it as a 2x2 two two cube. You can't disturb that 2x2 two two cube. Um, so I'll do the algorithm right now. You should remember it. Okay. Now, I sent that corner over here. I realize it's not solved. It's not supposed to be. I'm just putting it out of the way since it belongs in the buffer zone. If I have it in the buffer zone, I can't solve the cube as long as there are other corners undone. This corner goes right down here. Pretty easy. Turn the front face twice. Like that. Do the algorithm to switch them. Put it back. Make sure you put it back the same way. This one goes right down here. Turn the bottom twice, front twice. This is all logic. Putting the corner up here, it's pretty simple. Bring it back. Okay, now you look in here to see which one comes next. It's all a big chain, like I explained in my last video. This one goes over here, so we'll turn that side twice, front side twice. Make sure blue or green is facing up always on all the corners. Alright. This one goes to position two. Remember how we put that corner, I call it the bad corner, the naughty corner, whatever you want to call it. Put that corner right here. So that will pop it out and we'll have to go through that step again. You'll understand in a minute. There we go. Now I've got this corner again solved, but we don't want it solved yet because, as you can see, there's still some corners out of place. You don't see that pretty checker pattern all over. Now, um, this one, let's put it into, say, position, uh, this position here. Turn the bottom, run twice, got it right there, this corner is going to switch. Bring it back around, put it back in place. Okay, um, now we've got that corner went down here. We've got this one needs to go front position right here. Really annoying position. Turn the front twice, bottom once, front twice again. It's all logic. Algorithms and logic, of course. Um, okay, now you look at this one, it goes to position 8. Not eight. Well, it is eight, but ignore the numbers for now. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, ignore the numbers. I'm just so used to saying the number positions. I'll explain numbers momentarily. Bring it back. Okay, now we have this one. It goes down here, and that's where we put that corner. Now, sometimes when you get back to the naughty corner, it's solved. Sometimes it's not. If it's not, you'll be able to tell when it's not when you're blind solving. Um, then you put it in another corner that isn't solved yet. So right now, bring that up. Voila! You've got all of these pretty check patterns. Now don't turn the cube when you're blind solving because that will mess you up. Um, yep, you should have turned the cube once while blind solving. I mean, turn the sides up so they're not rotating the whole cube. That could screw you up pretty bad. Now, um, Got the corners done. The next step is memorizing the corners. 
Now, I'm not going to orient them first when I show you how to memorize, because when you're memorizing, of course, they won't be oriented. And the memorization stage is almost like solving it. When you're actually solving it, that's the easy part. Scramble it up pretty good. Okay. Now you go back to your green, yellow side. Whatever it is, there we go. Green on top, yellow on front. Now, let's see. Um, ignore orientation for now. You should know how to do that. This one's A, for example. This one's A. This one's X. Um, that was in part two, I believe. So, now I'll teach you the memorization. You go to the buffer zone first. You start here, and then you sort of make a chain that zooms all across the cube. Use the same sort of technique for edges also. Um, so you look at this one to figure out where it has to go. And before I start explaining that, you need to know the numbers of the corners. Here's your top side. This is corner one. You go clockwise. One, two, three, four. Pretty simple. Now on the bottom, one is opposite five, two is opposite six, and so on. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. When you're looking at the top side, that still goes counterclockwise on the bottom. You look at the bottom, it looks like it goes clockwise. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I think that's fairly simple. Not too hard to grasp. Now you look at this corner. This is the naughty corner. We start with the naughty corner. Um, now in those situations where I didn't have to put the naughty corner somewhere else, uh, that's a pretty funny name, naughty corner. Anyway, um, those were very lucky. That rarely happens. So in this case, this is average. You know, sometimes there's a one in eight chance that you start with the naughty corner. Let's put the naughty corner in position two. That's where I always stick with. Put it to position two. I start with the easy ones. Now say position two is already solved, which it's not. Then I go to position five. Position 5 is also not solved, but if it were, I would go to, say, position 6. That's not solved. I actually don't think we have any solved ones. Oh, uh, we've got one. Position 8 is solved. Um, so, put that to position 2 as long as it's not solved. Just It doesn't have to be 2. Just any corner that isn't solved, 2 is easiest because you don't have to twist anything. Um, so you remember right now, 2, because this one has to go to position 2. Simple enough. Remember, two, then you keep your finger on position two, and you think about where that one has to go. This one, green, orange, yellow, has to go to position one. I know this from memory. It'll take you a while to check, just using the centers, um, but you'll understand it after a while. So, two, one, go to position one. This needs to go to number six. Two, one, six. Go to number six. This has to go to five. Two, one, six, five. Got a little pattern here. It goes two, down one is one, six, down one is five. Uh, it's not always like that. I just find little ways to remember it like that. Two, one, six, five. Two, one, six, five. Double check as many times as you can when you're memorizing. So now go to position five. Two, one, six, five, two. Ooh, we got two again. That means it popped the naughty corner out of place again. Naughty corner will be back here. All these corners, after you do it, end up in the buffer zone. Um, and then you put them in their place. So, two, one, six, five, two. Now let's put it in, say, position four. Two, one, six, five, two, four. This is an exceptionally hard one right now. Four, seven. There's seven back here. Four. And it should be done because you will always end on the naughty corner. Um, almost always end on the naughty corner because um, that's sort of how it ends the chain seals it up and that will mean the naughty corner goes in the buffer zone the corner you just did goes back in place and everything is done uh, let's see if I can remember that two one six five two four seven four you will have some repeating numbers occasionally um, but that is pretty much how you memorize it. Just a continuous chain going around the cube. And I believe that summarizes how to solve the corners. Next time I'll go on to edges. Edges works just like the corners. Well, not exactly. Quite similar. Except harder because there are obviously more edges. Twelve edges did at eight corners. And far harder to memorize. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.